Okay, welcome to uh, Amaration Small Talk Part 4. And um, I'm, we have a big honor to be together with Jennifer. And Jennifer, she's Amaration from Vietnam. And uh, Jennifer, first of all, I'm appreciate you coming here to take your time with me. Jennifer, tell me about yourself. You had a Vietnamese name, you came to yes. the US. My Vietnamese name is Nguyen Thị Tích Nhung. Then I came uh, to United States in 1984. Uh, my last name now is um, Newcomer. I'm Jennifer Newcomer because my godfather, he adopted me when I'm young. So when I'm here, so I want to respect and then, you know, have his last name because I could have been that I'm still alive now. Wow. And uh, for the first year I'm here, it's a lot of things new, but mm. I'm glad that I'm able to make it to my dead homelands, mm. you know, more freedom. Mm. And I have more, uh, you know, respectful from you know people around me. My childhood time, you know, I'm lived uh, a very uh, hard time, and the people discrimination, mm. a lot of things limited. Mm. Uh, even school, or uh, the people, you know, uh, local people live around us is mm. not uh, people because I'm mixed. Mm. Whatever they look at me like I'm like well, that's mm. nothing. Mm. And um, well. Bowling everywhere I go. Mm. It's not fun, you know, when you try to like that, I'm kind of nightmare every time that we go out and we look mm. at people, we worry they might be clam on us for everything. Mm. But I'm um, innocent people, nobody cares. Mm. But you know, for, where, where did you where, where, where did you grow up in Vietnam? What city? Oh, I live in Saigon. Mm. Live in Saigon. I live in Saigon. I thought I live in a big city, but it's still the people mm. everywhere, they don't, you know. So you, yeah, grew, so you grew up with your, with your mother? With my mom, with my real mom, and the wow. family protects me, my uncle, they, they love me. Wow. So when I was young, pretty much I have to stay inside the house, mm. most of the time I not have, you know, um, time to hang around with friends because I'm making the people they don't like much. Mm. So my family protects me because they don't want to get hurt. And, and Jennifer, now you're here today, like you told me before, you feel like it feels so happy, it feels so amazing being among all those emirations. Mm -hmm. And it's for somebody, it's not an emiration or not, never been to Vietnam, never been to this situation. Even for me, who've been to Vietnam for the time 30 years ago, and I, I met your people in the street in Saigon, begging for money, begging for help because you're poor, you had no, you had no family, you had no freedom, you had nothing. And you told me yesterday, when you're among your own people, you feel happy because you understand each other. Yes. And can you explain to people outside how come you feel so happy among your own people? What, 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 how is inside your mind mm -hmm. when you meet all admirations? I was born in mm -hmm. Vietnam, but look at me, I'm not a full Vietnamese. Anybody recognize mm -hmm. me like, hey, you're not Vietnamese, you're not Asian. So my childhood, I went through a lot of mm -hmm. suffering. Mm -hmm. And I can feel American Asian sister, I call them sister and brother because yeah. I'm one of them. I'm behalf them, so I, I can feel how they feel. So every time that we see each other, somehow the feeling that I am already give them a love, I thought I'd see them sure. the first time. Mm -hmm. And uh, look back now, there I was lucky I came here in 1984. Yeah, I know. And then uh, and some other brother and sister uh, living in the United States also, we all got together a group. Mm -hmm. to help our, our brother and sister, whoever is still in Vietnam, they have been suffering for so long. Yeah. So we use our time and whatever we can do and help them out. Hopefully, our DNA to mm -hmm. some father and family accept us. Yeah. So we try to help our brother and sister in Vietnam to come to uh, fatherland for them to get freedom yeah. and for their you know, children's future better than whatever they live in right now. But Jennifer, you, you already know because you stay here since 1984, it's a long time. But for any emigration who's coming to the US from Vietnam, let's say today or tomorrow, an emigration who's 50 years plus, what kind of life will an, an emigration coming here today? Not speaking English, had no formal education, be lit down like a poor person with no dignity, no love. It's hard to come here. I uh, I know uh, everybody have to feel that way when you come to the new country, everything new to you. But I believe they don't feel lonely anymore because mm -hmm. we have a big group, brother and sister in the United States, and we are everywhere now. A lot of 
um, you know, us volunteer to devote their time, you know, to help them out. For example, if we try to help our brother and sister in Vietnam, I, mm -hmm. and then we already have planned mm -hmm. and we support them. Mm -hmm. Anytime they need something nowadays that we able to do a lot of things, and we do it for them because that's for love. True, true. Yeah, we volunteer to do that and hopefully that um, the document that they can go through faster so they can mm. go, you know, uh, to their father homeland to reunion with their father. Yeah. And, uh, you know, for them, right now we are, you know, past 50, yeah, but yeah. however, they still have children. Mm -hmm. So their children have opportunity to go to school. Sure. To get better life and freedom. Exactly. Yeah. So, the, um, I mean, yeah, for me, like I've been working with your people since, I mean, 1992, and it's always amazing me when I meet you, and I had the same feeling like when I met you first time in Vietnam. It's like wow, I had no words, you know. I saw all the people yesterday. Some of the people I hadn't seen since 1992, and they still remember me. Man, me, I don't remember them, but it's still the feeling of love and hope, sadness, and maybe a wish for a better future. Uh -huh. Is that the same way you have a it's, wish for a better future? Yeah, because for tonight, mm -hmm. it's quite a big event that we call a family reunion. Yeah. We all live everywhere in the United States, but whenever we have opportunity to see each other, we all fly wow. to meet each other and a family. You know, like last time I met a couple of people, I haven't, you know, known them in the past. Mm. But they hug me, they love me. Wow. I already gave my love to sure. them, like family we have and that time to see each other for many, many years. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand that feeling that uh, when you meet somebody and you have the same community, even I'm not admiration, but I still had the feeling when I'm approached by Jenny Fan the rest is wow. For me who try to do a little thing to make help people make people a little bit more happy. It's, it's a it's a beautiful feeling seeing among your people, you know, and uh, I'm happy that you had I, I'm happy you're happy when I'm good for your people. I, I, at least I, we try to do our best, you know, as human beings. And it's kind of amazing. Uh, the feeling is already in there, in my heart already. I yeah. look at the eye, they look at mine, <coughs> and then the love is already there. I'm already give out to them, and they already love me, and they, you know, get big hurt. It doesn't matter. Uh, I know her or know him. You know, in the past, no, it's my first day. But I can feel how they feel. They have went through the suffering when our childhood and, and them the same. So that's how sure. I can, you know, feel that. Then I, I, I help them more because I feel, okay, we are here now. We're safe now. True. You know, whatever we can do for our brother and sister in Vietnam, let's go for it and, and help them out. Jennifer, one more amazing story in my life. I, I, have no, I have no words for it. Thank you for your help and your time because I know you have been working for, you know, help out for my brother years. sister, yeah, 30 years. I think more than that, too. Uh, 1992. I, I, you know, heard a lot of good, you know, information and, and also feedback and comment from my brother and sister mm. about you, too. And thank you for your time. That's thank okay. You. I, it's come from my heart. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Come on. Come on. Now it's you.